is Kelly Fabrizius, and I'm on the adult programming team here at the Wichita Public Library. Here are my reading recommendations for Category 12 Read ICT, an author visiting Wichita or hosted remotely by a Wichita organization. My first selection is Jackie Me by Lois Bayard. And this is a historical fiction based on the early courtship between Jackie and JFK. It's told through the viewpoint of Lynn Billings, who is a lifelong friend of Jack's and the Kennedy family, but also becomes a close friend of Jackie's as well. Jack is busy campaigning and going to various events, so it's Lynn who ends up spending a lot of time with Jackie during those early years of their courtship. So you really get to see a personal side of Jackie. Um, she is a career woman. She is a local camera girl for a Washington DC newspaper and her mission in life is not to be a housewife. As her and Lim start hanging out, he gets caught in the middle and really encourages her to look at each path and what it would mean um, being Jack's wife and the whole political future ahead of her. So you really get a glimpse of Jackie as to who she was before she was first lady and the beginnings of their courtship. So if you are a Kennedy fan or just love um, historical fiction, I highly recommend you read Jackie and Me by Lois Bayard. My next selection is The Cellist by Daniel Silva. And this is the latest installment in the Gabriel Allen series, and it is a very contemporary espionage thriller. It deals with the pandemic and January 6th, and the threats to our democracy. It begins with the death of Viktor Orlov, who was one of Russia's wealthiest men who has since exiled to London, where he's become one of the biggest critics of the Kremlin. He is surrounded by security, but somehow documents are delivered to him with a nerve agent, agent on him, which immediately kills him. The premise of the story then is to find that killer and the first suspect is the reporter who delivered the documents. But as they bring in Gabrielle Allen and his team, they find that that reporter actually had a source called Mr. Nobody who had been delivering the documents over several months. After finally um, finding who the source is, the Mr. Nobody turns out to be a beautiful woman named Isabel Brenner, who works for one of the most corrupt and largest banks in the world. She becomes a very critical part of the story and ends up stealing the show. So if you love strong female protagonists and spy thrillers that deal with a touch of finance and history and music and art and danger, then I highly encourage you to pick up this book. My next selection is titled Midlife Bites by Jen Mann. I had never read anything by Jen before, but I'm really glad I did. Just the dedication to this book sets up the whole tone for it. It says, this book is dedicated to every exhausted, mildly irritated, middle-aged woman who doesn't have time to read this book, but really should. And it deals with Jen as she is approaching middle age and she finds, you know, she's having changes to her body. She's dealing with relationship issues and career issues. and. She's not happy and she should be, and so it just keeps spiraling out of control and she doesn't have anybody to talk to about it. So she writes a blog post in the middle of the night one night um, asking if there's any other women out there that feel the same, and it goes viral. Um, and that's kind of the premise for this book and what it dives into. Each topic discusses a different area, um, such as setting boundaries, but not denying yourself new opportunities. And at the end of it, she gives what's called Jen's Gem, where she just tells you like it is, um, what you need to know from that chapter. So it feels like you're talking to a friend um, and it's great advice and I highly recommend it for any woman that's approaching 40 or over 40. Um, it's a great, quick, fun, nonfiction read and you won't regret it. My last selection is another fun nonfiction read titled Celebrating Kansas Breweries by Michael J. Travis. And as someone who loves seeking out bookstores or breweries at new towns I visit, this book was really up my alley. It's about um, small town and large town breweries, how they're popping up throughout the state of Kansas. And it's not just about beer, it really dives into the people, the towns, and the stories behind it. It's set up in a way to help you um, plan your own road trip throughout the state of Kansas. Um, and it really shows, you know, highlights different breweries in Wichita and in both small and large communities and really looks at the brewery as a local gathering place. 
Um, so if you love exploring new places and meeting new people, I highly recommend you pick up this Celebrating Kansas Breweries and better yet, enjoy a pint while you're reading it. For more reading recommendations, visit wichitalibrary.org slash readict.